Hey guys, Justine here. Just wanted to do a quick video today on the big question of why. Now today is one of those videos where it's just going to be a little bit of a stream of consciousness, if you will. I haven't taken any notes, but this is something that has been coming up for me in the past few days. And so I felt that I would share today, naturally and organically, and we'll see where it leads. Essentially, the question why is a big one, and it's a very short word, but it's a really big question. And we often ask this as children, especially, why? Well, why? And I've been told many times that I asked a lot of these questions when I was a toddler. Well, why? Okay, well, what is this? Okay, why? What does it do? And, and we have this natural curiosity as human beings. And I think that is very natural. And, you know, as you grow up, you realize that a lot of things don't really have an answer. And specifically, I just want to talk about my experience and, and explain why why I'm bringing this up right now. And for me personally right now, the question why surface a lot in my career as to why I choose to work with certain people, why I, I don't choose to work with other people, why I enter certain contests and, and why I only get to a certain point or or why, you know, all these things. There's why, 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 why did I do this? Why did I do that? Why did this result happen? And that's what I really wanna tap into today is the result of things because as children, it's cause and effect. We see if you do this, you get this result. If you do this and you don't get the result you want, we think to ourselves so often we did something wrong or we need to change the formula or we're not deserving of getting the outcome that we desire. And this is really, really interesting, I think. This is what's been coming up for me. And what I've come to realize is this, sometimes there is no answer to the question why. There's no reason why we didn't get the desired outcome that we want. It's not always because we didn't work hard enough. It's not always because we are not worthy. It's not always because we don't deserve it. And, and that's really important for us to know because we are worthy beings. No matter how hard you work sometimes, even if you align yourself and align your chakras and you pray and you meditate and you visualize and you work your butt off and you are supported and you may see so much proof of that, tangible proof in the world. It doesn't always mean that things are going to happen on your timeline. And d divine timing is a really, really big part of this process. So no matter how much you question yourself or your worth or your hard work, sometimes things just simply aren't meant to happen at a certain time or they're just not meant to happen in general. And that can be applied to relationships as well. You can question why a certain relationship didn't progress further, whether that's in a friendship or a romantic relationship or even with a business partnership for that matter. You can question it all you want, but it, it is frustrating. I get it because when you have a sense that you're meant to do something or you're meant to be with a certain person or you feel uh, some sort of soul attraction or even just an emotional attraction to something or someone, it can feel really, really frustrating when the outcome doesn't really come to fruition in the way that you want or in the time that you want. Surrender is key to all of this. It really is because a lot of things are out of our hands and there's only so much that we can control. So it's really, really important that we get clear on what we can do and stop taking things so personally. And this is a practice, of course. It's not just done one day and for the rest of your life you're going to be fine. We are going to be tested and we're going to have things come up in our lives that make us think, why? Could I have done something better? Why am I not achieving the things that I want to achieve if my formula makes sense? If I'm putting in the hard work, if I have the visions, if I'm having faith, if I'm surrendering and letting go and flowing and I'm shown signs that I'm on the right path, but I'm still not really getting the outcome that I desire, we ask why. And the answer to that question could be a myriad of things. It could be the fact that it's just not the right time. It could be that you're not. it's not the right place. Time and place are everything. 
It could be something completely th that you're not even aware of in terms of someone else not being ready to work with you or, or to meet you and all these things that it comes down to soul contracts a lot of the time as well. And we're not conscious of these things. A lot of this stuff is like a blueprint that we plan before we even come back into this lifetime, I believe. And a lot of it's just out of our control. It really is. So it's, it's our job to stay focused on what we can control. To stay focused on our work, on our purpose, on light, on love, on what can we do, how can we serve in our own unique, genuine, authentic way. And how can we stay focused on that no matter what the physical outcome may be. No matter what other people say, no matter if we come in first second or third place or fifth or sixth or seventh and it's really important that we don't allow these things to steer us off our path or to make us lose faith and I understand and I, I think it's okay to have moments where we feel disappointed and to feel frustrated that we're not at point B or point C or whatever point we want to be at it's really really important though that we enjoy being where where we are wherever it is that we are because every single point along our journey every single milestone and stepping stone matters and and even if we fall on a stone that's okay too and it's it's a part of our path so one of my mentors Mastin Kip talks about this concept called horizon living where essentially you're always looking at the horizon and you're chasing it and you never get there which means you're not enjoying the present moment I've been there a million times and it's, it's a practice as I said so try to yes look at the future have goals set goals for yourself have visions have dreams have faith that you can get there and and don't spend too long being discouraged if you're not at that point and try to just stay present take a breath observe your surroundings get some beautiful flowers um, talk to loved ones and and really focus on how supported you are think about all the times in your life when you didn't feel supported and then all of a sudden physical tangible proof started showing up that you were supported think about the times where you got signs from your angels or from whoever you believe in and and there were synchronicities and you were shown that yes this is the path yes you are supported yes keep moving forward keep the faith that's really really important call on your angels archangel michael is really big in terms of faith and courage and leaning on him for support so that's someone that I well not someone but that's an angel that I call on quite often so I would suggest that to you if that resonates with you and if not that's okay as well um, it's just so so important I guess that we stay focused that we stay present that we remember that everything happens for a reason at the perfect divine time and you know what there are awful things that happen on this planet as well and we don't have the answers as to why but light exists for a reason dark exists for a reason and <clears throat> sometimes we just can't understand the big question of why there are some things in life that will puzzle us and that we will never figure out and we can spend all of our time we can waste all of our energy every day contemplating why 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 and I'm not suggesting that we should let go completely of questioning or doing life reviews and and thinking about things because I do think it's important to reflect however if that's taking up all of your precious time and energy then you're really not enjoying the present and you're really not going to be able to move forward to all the beautiful places that you can get to and to live your dreams if you're spending so much time focused on the past or focusing on questioning yourself and questioning why you feel down or why you feel like you're not worthy it is important to go down and to do that inner work and to get clear on okay well why am I feeling this way but the key is to not dwell in it and to not stay there for longer than necessary so I hope that makes sense to you today um, I'm gonna leave it at that and I wish you well and hopefully I will talk to you guys soon bye